This was the greeting Barrett Lovell received when returning to work this August. A young girl named Helen by his side, who Barrett once said motivated him to keep fighting his cancer in some of his lowest moments. Helen was also fighting leukemia and sent Barrett this message to encourage him. Never ever give up. You have to get out of that bed. Get going. Get going. Do it for the ones that love you and the ones who admire you. And on that day that he beat cancer, she was there to walk him to the front doors of the Bozier Max facility where he worked. But just weeks later, his cancer returned and Barrett passed away. His friend Billy Jones saw him just a few days before. I saw Barrett that morning and he got emotional. And I think the emotions weren't because I was going out of town and, and he wasn't going with me. The news came suddenly for so many of his friends, including Jason Porter. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't done hanging out with him. <laughs> but through those emotions, both men took the time to remember Barrett for the good times. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my entire life. That boy would literally do anything for you if you asked. Um, he was sweet. Women loved him because of he was just cuddly. He was a strong person. He's going to make me a strong person, a strong father, a strong husband, a strong deputy, because he was strong. Lovell lives on through the laughter and smiles of others, but perhaps the most important way comes from the words of Brian Allison, who worked to find Barrett a match for a cord blood transplant. So many people you hear say they so-and-so lost their battle with cancer, and I don't think Barrett lost anything. I think Barrett won this battle with cancer. He's not fighting it anymore. He's not hurting and, and you know, there are going to be lives saved because of Barrett's story. So he's, he's won this battle. <laughs>